everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland, and today I have the privilege to interview Eric Silverman from Maryland. Hi, Eric. How are you doing? Hey, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Eric is considered one of the most recognized person in the benefit uh, industry. He's a subject expert matcher in, in, the, in the field of sales, marketing, recruitment, and benefits. He's also been uh, called many times for as a guest speaker at a lot of events. And also in 2017, he received Voluntary Advisor of the Year Award by the Employee Benefit Advisor, the highest industry honor given to anyone in the voluntary advisoring industry. So Eric, thank you for being here. My first question for you is, we know that in this competitive market, whenever a job is posted, the recruiters get maybe 100 or more than 100 resumes. So how can job seekers differentiate themselves to shine and get the attention of the recruiter to, be, to get a call? Sure, sure. Great question. And, and you're right. We are in a competitive job market uh, worldwide. And quite frankly, um, in the year 2021, and it's not going to get any, um, it's not going to change. In the year 2021, um, the way you differentiate is by building um, your personal brand and being authentic. So I would embrace, I would go, I would, I would do a deep dive and in, immerse yourself in social media, uh, specifically LinkedIn. Um, and quite frankly, if I was looking for a job right now, I would just uh, be out there just being personal. You know, you don't, companies are looking to hire people, not robots. Uh, at least the good ones are, the ones that I would recommend. And what that means is be personal, don't be shy. Don't be afraid to share stories and photos and videos about yourself and you, you with your kids and your family. Um, uh, that helps with building that personal um, that personal name for yourself. The second thing I'd say, which is huge, is don't be shy with respect to video marketing. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you got to realize your resume is a um, is you marketing yourself. It's a billboard for yourself. So if I were you, I would uh, move more away from the actual old fashioned resume and be more inclined to send a video 30 seconds to a minute or two uh, as an introduction. So instead of an old fashioned cover letter, what I would say is put together a video cover letter, 30 seconds to two minutes of uh, why they should even take a look at you. Because the reality is, I'm being blunt, a year, two, five years from now, everybody's going to be doing it. Right yeah. now, hardly anybody's doing it. So if you are one of 100 people competing for a, a job, and only a couple people sent in a video cover letter, you're gonna really stand out compared to the 97 people that were lazy and very boring and old fashioned. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And do you think that job seekers, is, or is it okay for job seekers to reach out to the recruiter or the hiring manager via LinkedIn and send them the message there also? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you have, look, you have zero point zero to lose. You have nothing to lose. So mm -hmm. I would use the voice message feature on LinkedIn. If you're not familiar, you can direct message people on LinkedIn yes. with your voice. Um, I'm not going to explain how, but it's not complicated. You can figure it out pretty easy via the LinkedIn uh, app uh, yes. available for iPhone or Android devices. Um, so I would do that. I would also, um, you know, I would, I don't want to say be aggressive, but I would not be shy. You need to show that you're serious and, and interested in a position. But keep in mind that these recruiters and companies get thousands upon thousands of messages uh, yeah. for follow up. So again, I would do a deep dive in differentiation using the um, using video, quite frankly, voice is great, but using video is still very, very different. And people aren't, um, people aren't using it. Thank you for that great tip, Eric. I really appreciate it. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Eric a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you are going to be like a journey with us. You can like and share all the videos or some of them. And if you have any comments, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Eric.